Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are studying the order of operations. And for this lesson, we only have two operations to deal with, addition and subtraction. So that makes it easy, sort of. The order of operations is that we first solve whatever is inside parentheses, inside these things here. And then we add and subtract from left to right. Examples will make this clear. In this problem, we have parentheses. It is these rounded lines here. And whatever is inside them, what operation is inside there, has to be done first. And I feel order of operations is a fun topic for all children because you can draw some bubbles or balloons if you prefer, like this. The operation that is to be done first, draw a bubble around it, like this. Solve this first, 9 minus 6, okay? That is 3, right? And then you go 21 minus 3. So we get 18, okay? And now over here, if you notice, these are the same numbers as in our previous problem, but there are no parentheses. So we will just solve it from left towards the right. We go from here, and this is the first operation to do. Okay, but I can still draw a bubble if I want to, like this. 21 minus 9 is what we will subtract first. And you can subtract 21 minus 10, that would be 11, and then add 1. So we get 12 for this bubble. It's like the bubble is 12. And then 12 minus 6, and that is 6. So the whole thing equals 6. Again, over here, there are no parentheses. So we start from left, and we find our first operation right there. Matthew, you want to draw, let's say, a balloon this time? There, that's what we do first, 50 minus 5. And that is 45. And then you go on 45 plus 3, which is 48. Now over here, we have parentheses. So this has to be done first, right? That's my balloon. 5 plus 3, that's 8. And then 50 minus 8 equals 42. So you can see that the parentheses make a difference. The answers are different whether we have parentheses or not. Some more practice. Come on, Matthew. What shall we do first in this one? Yep, we shall do this first. And that is 5. And then we shall do this other parentheses. 100 minus 90. That would be 10. And then 5 plus 10. So we get 15 for this complicated expression. How about that one? No parentheses. So you will start from left to right. Go in order, okay? Uh, shall we use red again? This first. Mathy, go back. 40 minus 20 is 20. Then we go in order. 20 plus 30, 50. And then 50 minus 5, 45. All right. Over here, we need to write the number sentence to match this wording. First, subtract 80 and 60. Okay, that's easy, 80 minus 60. And then add to that 40. So we have 80 minus 60. That's what we would do first. And then we add to that 40. Since it says first subtract, then I could use parentheses. I could write it like this. Okay, make sure you do that first, and then you add to that 40, right? So that's the way to write it. However, even without parentheses, it still works the same way, because if it did not have parentheses, I would still start with 80 minus 60. Okay? So either way, it is the same. First, subtract 60 and 40. And then, subtract that result from 80. Now, this is going to be a little different. First, subtract 60 minus 40. 
Let me put that in parentheses because it says to do that first. And then subtract this thing from 80. Does that mean this minus 80? Or does it mean 80 minus this? We need to take away this from 80. So it must be 80 minus that thing, right? And now I guess we can also solve these. 80 minus 60 would be 20 plus 40 equals 60. Over here we get this first, which is 20. 80 minus 20 equals 60. Over here, the idea is the same, but the numbers are more difficult. We need to first solve what is inside parentheses, this thing here. So, let's add. This time I'm going to write my numbers under each other. 5 plus 7. You tell me. You add quicker. Can you add quicker than what I do? Here's 12 too. Huh, 222. So this bubble here is 222, or balloon. And now you see what we need to do last is subtract. Again, I could write my numbers under each other. Though I could do this mentally too, because the numbers look kind of easy. 3 minus 2, then here, 0, and here, 3. So the whole answer is 301. Lastly, Matthew, there are puzzles to solve. You ready? Oh yeah, he's excited. Come on! This here needs parentheses added to it because if there are none, it's not true. 16 minus 2 would be 14. 14 plus 6 would be 20. See, it's not true. So, can you figure that out? Good job, Matthew. Yes, exactly. 2 plus 6 makes 8. And then 16 minus 8 equals 8. How about the other one? That's a little harder. 24 plus 5 would be 29. Minus 4 would be 25. Plus 1 would be 26. So it's not right. Now you have more places to put your parentheses. Matthew's thinking. Are you thinking too? Okay, let's check. Come on up. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So 24 plus 5 minus 5. Yes, that's correct. Good job, Matthew. Well done with this lesson.